Hello people, this is Dr. Muskan this side and today I am going to discuss very beautiful case. Here is a 72 year old male who has came to ER at 5.40 am in the morning with chief complaint of shortness of breath since 5 days, fever, cough with sputum since 1 month. On arrival, ABCS was done, airway was patent, on breathing assessment, respiratory rate was 28 per minute, that means patient was tachypneic, SpO2 was only 66% on 15 litre per minute oxygen, that means there was desaturation, on circulation assessment, pulse rate was 106 per minute, that means there was tachycardia because normal lies less than 100 per minute, and BP was 128 by 62 mmHg. Sensorium was alert, DCS was 15 by 15 E4 V5 M6, patient was intubated in ER, indications for intubation was type 1 respiratory failure, anticipated uh, respiratory arrest, respiratory acidosis, or Macley hand grade was 3, that was only epiglottis was visible, so there was typical intubation. HOPI, patient was apparently all right one month back. When he presented with complaint of cuff with sputum which was white in color, he also complains of fever since one month but it was increased in last eight days. He also complains of shortness of breath which increased in last one day. It is also associated with seasonal variation. Negative history, there was no blood and cuff, ruled out noctuses, no history of vomiting, no dinal variation, no dust allergy, no history of steroid abuse, no history of surgery, no history of previous hospital admission. Past history, there was history of TB as well as TB contact. They, uh, her mother was having TB that was TB of bone for the past 40 years. And there was history of MDI, DPI used for one year. What is MDI? That is meter dose inhaler and DPI is dry powder inhaler. There is history of hypertension since 3 years. They, he is not on regular medications. There is no history of type 2 diabetes mellitus, thyroid disease, epilepsy, coronary artery disease or any other chronic disease. Personal history, there was history of smoking for 8 years, he stopped it 25 years ago. He used to smoke 1 BD per day, there were no addictions of alcohol and tobacco. Now patient was received by ICU team after 3 hours of his arrival, that is 8.40 am. He came in intubated state on ACVC mode, 100% FiO2, P was 8, ET tube was at 7 of 7 mm. Uh, during intubation, patient was in bradycardia. At the end of intubation, patient has gone into arrest. There were two cycles of CPR in ER and patient was revived. ROSC was achieved. That was return of spontaneous intubation. And after that, it is achieved. We have to do. Uh, uh, we have to monitor the temperature of the patient. When patient was received in MICU, patient was des uh, uh, was desaturating. P SpO2 was 80 percent on 100 percent FiO2 on ACVC mode. Patient taken on bag and mask uh, pain circuit. SpO2 then comes to be 93% on 100% FiO2 ACVC mode. At 9.45 am rate increased, decreased from 32 to 22, FiO2 from 100% to 90%, P from 10 to 8. Vitals of the patient at that time was tachycardia and tachypnea. Pulse rate was 177 per minute and uh, respiratory rate was 28 per minute. On respiratory system examination, there was bilateral crepts with V's. Investigation pictures showed that there was leukocytosis, hyperuricemia, hyponatremia, hypochloremia, serum transaminitis and hypoalbinemia. ABG picture shows respiratory acidosis. The anion gap was normal. HBSAG, HCV, HIV1, 2 was non-reactive. On HRCT, there was bilateral brown glass opacities in lung fields. There was consolidation suggestive of atypical pneumonia. ECG shows sinus tachycardia but on monitor heart rate waveform shows atrial fibrillation because P wave was absent. There was QRS complex and T wave present, heart rate was 200 per minute. On chest x-ray there was bilateral homogeneous opacities present, air bronchogram was present and it was suggestive of ARDS. Sepsis protocol was followed, there, SIRs was present that was tachypnea and tachycardia. Sepsis was present because infection was there, TLC was 28,000. Severe sepsis was there because patient was hypotensive, he was on NORAD and vasopressor support, end organ damage was present because LFT and KFT was deranged, there was AKI, serum transaminitis and dyslectinemia. Septic shock was there because <coughs> symptoms were on persistent side but lactate level was 1.4 mm per liter. Further to check the ARDS criteria, we have calculated PaO2 FiO2 ratio which was less than 200 that was 102.85 that shows critical respiratory failure which is suggestive of ARDS. 
मैनेजमेंट ऑफ दिस पेशेंट एट्रियल लाइन सी बी पी लाइन वॉज डन कॉन्टीन्यूस मॉनिटरिंग ऑफ वाइटल्स प्रोन पोजिशन ऑफ द पेशेंट वॉज देर सो वॉट हैपन्स इन प्रोन पोजिशन इन जोन थ्री देयर इज मैक्सिमम परफ्यूजन थ्रू लंग इज लाइक दिस वेन वी डू लाइक दिस इन जोन वन एंड जोन टू देयर इज परफ्यूजन सो इन प्रोन पोजिशन डायफ्राम drops in heart shifts forward which increases the compliance further in this patient peep flat was 30 and peep was 10 so pressure was 20 which shows good compliance so what are the contraindications of the prone position relative contraindications are in elevated icp intestinal ischemia obesity and recent abdominal surgery absolute contraindications are uh, spinal cord instability unstable facial fracture Interior burns, open abdomen, increased abdominal pressures, and unstable pelvic fractures. Now at 5:45 p.m. in the evening, heart rate goes to 200 per minute again. So injection adenosin 6 mg IV stat, injection amitriptyline 200 mg stat followed by 6 mg per hour in infusion was given, and it dropped to 112 per minute. But again, it dropped to uh, it moves forward to 200 per minute, which shows no effect of adenosin for a while. But after some time, it comes again to 99 per minute because of the infusion of amitriptyline. So when monitored, it comes out to be normal. Uh, P wave. Uh, so there was no pulses, alterations in pulses, paradoxes. When the settings in ARD patient, there was low TV, uh, tidal volume 425 ml in the patient. Prone position was done. P was maintained. Uh, There was permissive hypercapnia. It was 64, then 59, then 45, then 54, and normal is 35 to 45. Antibiotics given to this patient were tizumac, which is treatment for bacterial infection; ezi, which is vaclolide, which is treatment for respiratory infection; pantoc, which is PPI, which is treatment for GRD; injection perinom, which is metoclopramide, treatment for vomiting; injection PCM, which is treatment for fever; injection clindamycin, which is treatment for bacterial infection; injection hydrocortisone, which is treatment of edema and inflammation. Injection vancomycin, which is treatment for streptococcus bacteria. Injection dipotox, which is treatment for adrenal insufficiency. Injection maromac, which is treatment for infection of lungs like pneumonia. Nebulization was given with formonide and nebsmart, which is to clear airway. And syrup erodil was given, which is treatment for cough with mucus. Now the final diagnosis of this patient was atypical pneumonitis, suggested by CCT report. With severe ARDS calculated by PaO to FiO to ratio, with septic shock protocol has been explained to you in this video with AKI, with serum transaminases, and with atrial fibrillation. Thank you for watching this video. Doctor Muskan Mansur is signing off now.